Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cake batter bars. They are absolutely delicious. They're made for any special occasion, especially like a birthday or something coming up, or even something like Christmas. We're here at YouTube Space LA and we are filming a bunch of um, Christmas themed videos and we thought we'd love to share our decorations. Make sure you head over to Cooking and Crafting and check out her Christmas tree, how to make this out of hangers. Can you believe that? So let's get started on our cake batter bars. The ingredients for the cake batter bars are one package of birthday cake flavored sandwich cookies, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one package of white chocolate chips, and rainbow sprinkles. The first thing I'm going to do is take my sandwich cookies and put them into this bag. I'm going to do just a couple at a time, which lets me get them into finer pieces. And I'm just going to kind of squeeze out the air there and close it off. And I'm going to take my meat tenderizer and I'm just going to hit it. So I'm crushing up the cookies to make a fine crumb. If you've got like um, a food processor, you could use that and that will make a really fine crumb. So I'm just going to smash these all up and be back to show you what's next. Our next job is to melt the white chocolate chips. So I'm going to use the microwave and once they're smooth and melted, we will do the next step. So we've got our chocolate chips melted and now we're going to pour in our sweetened condensed milk and I'm going to mix that up. So you just want to let it combine and so you can't see the streaks of either of the ingredients. Just start stirring that. And into this mixture, we're also going to add all of our cookie crumbs and about a quarter of a cup of our sprinkles. So we've got the first two combined. Now I'm going to put in the sprinkles next. There we go. They're so pretty. And our cookie crumbs. So I'm going to mix this up and then I'll be back to show you what kind of pan you need to put them into. So I'm using an 8 by 8 glass dish and what I'm going to do is, what I've done is greased it with just a non-stick spray. I'm going to take my cookie batter bar here and hopefully you can do it neater than me. Put it into the pan and then I'm just going to press it down and after that, you're going to need to put it like into the fridge or just off to the side, probably for um, about an hour or until it's nice and cool. And you can cut it into bars. I'll be back when I can do that. So to finish off the bars, I'm just going to put some sprinkles on here. You can put as many or as little as you want to. And we're going to make sure that they're nice and firm after being in the fridge, which they definitely are. And then just taking a sharp knife going to cut into them. Oh yeah, they're definitely firm. And I'm going to use a small spatula to pull them out. So I'll just get these ones on the edge and I'll pick through and get the nice ones to show you guys the final product. So just picking them up here. And there we go. So I'm going to cut a bunch of them out and I'll be back to finish off the video. So there you go everybody, how to make cake batter bars. They're absolutely delicious and anything with that amount of sprinkles has to be good. So thanks for watching everybody. Remember to subscribe to the channel and you can find us on Pinterest, Google+, Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.